Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. Today it's about butterflies and about stripes and I've got a really cute card to share with you. This card is using the stripes mask and I'm going to teach you an easy way to create those subtle stripes. Of course we've got that beautiful butterfly with these gorgeous metallic doilies. Lots of fun things to show you today. Remember that all the products are available in my online store and I offer great rewards for those who place orders there. So head over to my blog and make sure you click on the rewards button over to the right. It'll give you sneak peek pictures as well as details. Let's get over the stamp table and let's get stamping. So here's the card we're going to be putting together today. Pretty, huh? Those metallic doilies are beautiful. So let's talk about those just a little bit to get started. They come in gold and silver in the package. So you're going to get gold and silver in these two sizes. Now I chose the large silver for this one, but I'll be honest with you, I don't have any more left. So today's project, when I'm demonstrating, is going to be with the gold one. So you can see what they look like in both colors. The background actually uses the stripes mask. And this is really a stencil. This comes in a package with the dots as well. You'll see here in the catalog on page 157 that there's quite a nice variety of different masks to choose from, including hearts and stars. And this one that's called Happy Patterns, it's new this year, and this gives you four different stencil backgrounds. I'm gonna show you how to use it today with the sponge dauber. The Whisper White cardstock I cut to do this later is actually measuring three and three quarters by five. I'm going to put that on my grid paper and then I'm going to lay my mask over the top. Now to help keep it from shifting on my work surface, there's two things you can do. Painter's tape or, that's not handy, post-it notes usually are. So I'm going to actually put a couple here because it'll be sticky here at the top and another one here near the bottom, and I will move those as I go along so that I can get the whole thing. Sponge dauber is the trick, and you want to use a super light hand if you want a light background. The one thing about the stencil you're going to find out is it doesn't appear to be very dark while we're doing it here, but when you move it, oh boy, it's going to be quite different. So I'm using my mint macaroon ink pad, and I'm dabbing inside to get some color. Now it's going to be really important that you take off some layers of ink here on the side, we don't want it too strong and I am literally just going to go up and down now I know that post-it notes there and I'm avoiding it and I know this is probably gonna be really difficult to see I'll move those post-it notes in a minute so that we can get behind those and what I'm trying to do is get more even coverage I really don't want circles from the dauber and the stripes so I'm going to repeat this process through the whole card what you're looking for is light and dark areas just to give it a subtle appearance. So I'm gonna lift this and I'm gonna move it here so I can do here at the bottom. And I'm gonna do the same thing up here. I'm gonna move this down to the bottom and I'm gonna fill in a little bit here. I'm just gonna lift this so you can have a peek. Look, it looks way different when you move the stencil than while you're actually stenciling it. There's two ways you can clean your stencil. The easiest way for me is I just throw it in the laundry tub and I just rinse it out with water and let it air dry. And if that doesn't work for you, then of course you can take an old rag or a washcloth and wipe it off. So now we're left with a really pretty muted stencil look. The next layer is Bermuda Bay cardstock and this measures four by five and a quarter and that's gonna get mounted on here after we put our greeting on. Now on my original card, I used the same words from the same stamp set which is called Watercolor Wings and I used the sentiment that was in there that says the little moments with you matter most but this card I decided I'm gonna change it up. Same stamp set, different greeting. This one says just for you and I'm using the Bermuda Bay ink and I'm gonna stamp this near the bottom. Okay, so that portion's finished. Now let's work on our butterfly. So with a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock, I'm using the Mint Macaroon ink pad. And it's gonna be too strong of a color for me. So I'm gonna stamp off a layer here on my scratch paper and a real light shade is gonna come here on the scrap cardstock. Then I'm using the outline image of the butterfly and this time I'm switching over to the Bermuda Bay and I'm gonna ink that up. Gotta love photopolymer because it guarantees perfect placement every time and that's gonna go over the top. So that's gonna create a really light muted image. 
So now our butterfly is finished. The next step is to cut it out, but there's no fussy cutting needed because there are framelits that will cut out this image. And they are actually from the, the thinlets section called butterflies. Butterfly thinlets will cut this out. So we're gonna get the big shot and we're gonna use our magnetic platform for this because it's gonna hold it all in place. So we're gonna put our image down and our framelit right over the top and then the clear mat on top of that and we're just gonna crank this through. So here we've got this. We'll just push it to the back and out comes our butterfly, all nice and cut. I then use the circle punch. This is the two inch and a piece of mint macaroon cardstock and I punched out a piece. That's the piece that's gonna go here behind our butterfly. And this is also the place that we're gonna stamp the antennas. They're really tiny, but boy, do they work well. And again, photopolymer makes the placement really simple. So I'm just gonna stamp those here near the top. Now the butterfly will go on top. So I'm gonna use some dimensionals and I'm gonna put them on either side of the wings just so that it's balanced. And I'm gonna position it so that his antennas will fall properly. So there we go, we have our butterfly. So now this piece is gonna go on top of the gold doily. Now I have found that adhesive doesn't stick really well to this, so I prefer to use dimensionals again. So I'm gonna take two more and put those on the back. And then I'm gonna attach this to the center area of that doily. Now we've gotta finish this up. And I'll tell you what, I'm actually thinking, mm, do I wanna add the silver rhinestones with that gold doily? So I'm thinking, mm, maybe not. Let's try something fun. Tomorrow is September 1st, and that unveils this brand new holiday catalog, which is loaded with great stuff, but in it is this amazing new product called the Fine Tip Glue Pen. This is gonna revolutionize all those small little pieces you've been dying to adhere without effort. So all you do is you hold it and you unscrew the white tip, but you are going to love this because first of all, there's a very tiny, thin tip where the glue will come out, but check this out. Was this genius or what? Stampin' Up! designed a pin that actually fits inside the top of the glue pen so that when you store it, it will never clog. I so love that. Tons of glue in here, so this is gonna last eons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a few drops right down the middle of my butterfly. And I'm gonna hold this up really quick so you can see it because it's really, really tiny. And then I'm using a toothpick to kind of pick these up. And I'm gonna lay my gold sequins right on top there. I will be honest with you, prior to this glue pen, this was a real pain. But now with that new fine tip pen, oh, so easy. Again, to close it, put your finger here against the tip. Take the pin and just slide it inside and then screw it shut. You're gonna love this product. So now our butterfly is all done. We're gonna put our card together. These two pieces that we cut previously and we did the stenciling on, we're gonna add a little adhesive to the back of the white layer, and that's gonna go on top of the Bermuda Bay layer. This is a piece of eight and a half by five and a half Whisper White cardstock, and I've just folded it in half with my bone folder. This is the base of the card where this will get mounted, again, with more snail adhesive, and that'll get layered right here on top. Now here comes our doily, and here's the great thing about these doilies, I didn't tell you, check it out, the other side is white. So if you wanted to spritz these, you could, or if you just want a white doily, you're all set. Now I preferred to add dimensionals to the back. You can add adhesive if you like. So I'm gonna add a few dimensionals here and I'm gonna add that beautiful gold butterfly right here to the top. So here's the card we made today. Here's my original one. Geez, I'm not sure which one I like better. I love both colors. Leave me a comment, tell me which one's your favorite. And I'm so glad you joined me today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Have a great day, everyone.